Hey, my name is Peter. Hi, Mariah. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you. What do you do for a living, Mariah? I'm a professional figure skater. Oh, did you go to the Olympics? I didn't. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> nice. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. Today, we are talking about what it is like to be a professional figure skater. <laughs> so today, we're going to talk about our experience as professional figure skaters. Of course, we cannot speak for everyone. Everyone's experiences are different but we are going to give you a little snippet. Little taste of what we've learned throughout our years yes. as professionals. Yay! Ah. Yay. <laughs> so before we get started, we need to go over some basic terminology or lingo, if you will. Yes, when you join the ice show, there are terms like the ice show mm. <laughs> that people say that they get used everywhere, yeah. everywhere on tour. So we're gonna make sure that you are in the know. So as we continue to talk, you know what we're talking about. All right, let's get started. Yeah. Number one, show tracks. Mariah, what is a show track? So when you first join a show, they give you a list of numbers that you're going to be in. And they also give you a list of songs. So what you do is you go to that list of songs mm -hmm. and each song is a little individual performance. So you look up the songs and each song that you are in will be listed in your show track. Nice, okay. A six pack, and I don't mean the beer. Mariah, what is a six pack? A six pack is basically the number of shows that you have in a row. Mm. A good example of this is Saturday and Sunday. Oftentimes you'll have three shows Saturday and three shows Sunday and three plus three is six. So it depends on how many shows that you have in a row. So sometimes you'll have a nine pack, Sometimes you'll have a 12 pack, just depends. Yeah, that's scary. It can be. <laughs> Next up is understudy. And this doesn't mean that you didn't study enough for the upcoming test, okay? What is an understudy, Mariah? So an understudy is basically a person that is meant to step into a number if the person who normally does it is unavailable or sometimes there is a rotation that happens regularly mm -hmm. so that you can practice. You may not get to do that understudy the whole year though. It doesn't necessarily mean that you learn something, you get to do it. It just means you learn something and you might get to do it. So you may be practicing something for an entire season and you never perform it. You'll never get the chance? Nope. <laughs> what? <laughs> and the last of our lingo definitions is calling out. And this doesn't mean Mariah calling out my whack haircut <laughs> earlier in this take. Mariah, what does it mean to call out of something in a show? It's just like any other job. Call in, you say, hey, I can't make it, I'm sick, or <laughs> whatever the reason may be, but you're not coming in today, which means you're out of the show. You've called out. That's it for the definitions. Now we're going to take all those that we just laid out for you and wrap them into a beautiful example that Mariah now is going to show off in showgirl fashion. All right, you ready for this? Becca called out. So Serena is going to be doing her understudy track for the entire six pack. How do you end up on tour though? I think a lot of people, they wonder that question. Like, yes, you trained and were a figure skater for many, many years, but how did you make it a career? How did you get a job? And so every single audition process is different. It's not the same for every single company, but most companies, there is some sort of email exchange. So my experience was slightly different. My grandma actually took care of all of my audition stuff. Um, prior to me even knowing about it because I was 17 years old trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life and she reached out to the casting director on Disney on Ice and set up my audition which actually happened two days before wow. I graduated high school. I was hired that day and left two weeks later to Mexico City to join my very first Ice cast. Wow. Mm -hmm. So hold on a second. 
You had no idea that you were going to audition. No. Nope. First of all, mm -hmm. you were 17. I was 17. Baby Mariah. And you did this all before your high school graduation? Yeah, two days before. Wow. I know. <laughs> Look at you now. Look at me now. I know. It's so crazy. 10 years later. Um, but I will say a very normal process for getting hired is also you email the casting director. Okay. There is some sort of email exchange that happens. They ask you to send a video reel. Okay. The video reel will consist of all of your best tricks. Um, you showcase as much as you possibly can in this video. And then they may ask you for more materials or whatnot. And then from there, they will let you know if you got a job, send you a contract, sign you up. And then once you start, I mean, it's kind of addicting. You just keep yeah. going. You just keep rolling. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so you got the job, you packed up your bags, you say goodbye to friends and family, you get there. What did you expect? Because as a skater, I'm sure you had assumptions. Was it everything that you thought it was gonna be, or? I was so young, I couldn't even tell you what I thought tour was gonna be like. <laughs> I don't think I had any idea. I just was like, I'm leaving and I'm gonna go on tour. But I do think that there are a lot of things that you don't realize and most people don't know about mm -hmm. tour mm -hmm. and they kind of have a lot of assumptions. Like the number one that I think I hear all the time is we have makeup artists backstage. When we actually don't have any makeup artists backstage, sometimes you are doing character makeup and you are having to look at a picture and replicate exactly the same thing on your Ooh. face. I had never done my makeup before. I had never used foundation, I had never done my eyebrows, I'd never done anything. And then I was given, you know, a piece of paper, had to replicate it, and it was a struggle. But I eventually learned and I figured it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, what about you? I mean, you started tour, you were told you need to go buy makeup. I think that was probably shocking. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I never wore makeup, I never bought it. And, and I mean, first time going in, green, I had no idea what was going on, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> uh, but luckily, I I was um, I had some help, a little help from my friends, you know. Yeah. And it was the other guys in the makeup room, girls in the makeup room, yeah. they'll help you. Yeah. And that's really great. There's a lot of help um, for new newbies, as they call them, on tour. And yeah, you learn as you go. You learn as you go, and you start to make new friends straight away. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Another assumption that people make is that you need to be a high level Olympic class athlete to perform in ice shows. But is that really the case? It depends on the show and it depends on what you're doing in that show. Mm -hmm. um, I know this guy, everybody knows somebody. There's always somebody. <laughs> he started skating when he was 20 years old. He got a job performing in shows. He was on my show, we were doing the same job and I skated for 10 plus years. Um, competed at extremely high level mm -hmm. and we had the same job. So I don't think that level really matters. It comes down to your performance skills. It comes down to what the show is looking for mm -hmm. at the time. With shows, timing is everything. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> In addition to that, people often assume that there is a shelf life to show skating. But you know what? Age, it's just a number. Exactly. I mean, when I joined tour, like I said, I was 17 years old. I was already on tour with people who'd been on tour for 20 plus years that were over 40 plus and they were still loving it. And I feel like as long as your body is capable, you know your body better than anybody else. As long as your body is capable and you are still feeling fulfilled in this career, you can continue. Keep going. Do it as long as you want because, you know, at the end of the day, you always want to do what you love and what makes you happy. Another one of my favorite assumptions is that everything is paid for. Yeah, out of your paycheck. <laughs> yes, and of course, again, this depends on the company, but we often have things taken out of our paycheck like insurance, like hotel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we pay for our own food, uh, we take care of ourselves, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> now, finally, to round out our list of favorite assumptions, it's travel day. A lot of people assume that we fly from city to city or that we have these big extravagant buses, um, coaches even, you can call them. But is that really the reality? 
No. So, so. <laughs> no, we travel in sometimes buses for 12 plus hours. It's like roady lifestyle, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, our la latest travel, we had one seat per person. We Ooh. were traveling for 12 plus hours mm. um, every week, sometimes twice a week. So it's not necessarily luxury it's just a means to get from one place to the other just like everyone else a to b a to b <laughs> and the last thing that we wanted to say is that tour is such an amazing opportunity there are so many wonderful things that come out of being a professional figure skater so many wonderful opportunities i think my personal favorite is just the rush that you get from performing it is such an amazing feeling to be able to share what you love with the world and to just have those moments to be able to soak it all in and appreciate everything that you have done and everything that you have accomplished yeah. all while doing what you love. And then of course, the travel is amazing. I mean, we have done some amazing travel. We've gone to New Zealand, Australia, Eastern Europe, Western Europe. We have been so lucky with our travels. And the cake on top of that is we got paid for it. Exactly. So I just want to say tour is such an amazing opportunity. If you have the opportunity, I would say take it. And then lastly, to have even more icing on the cake, you are left with lifelong friendships oh. and sometimes relationships yeah. that last a lifetime.